Good morning guys! I've missed you. It has been way too long since I've posted a YouTube video. Life has been so crazy but so fun. We were in Spain for two weeks and I really just took that time to soak in the last big trip with me and Marcus and James and obviously being with our family in Spain. It was so much fun. If you want to see more of our Spain adventures, I posted a ton on Instagram, but then we got back. We took like a week to recoup from the jet lag. And now I woke up like two days ago and I was like, you're having a baby in, in a few weeks. Like next month is my due date. I am currently 34 weeks pregnant. She's here. She's popping. Um, and so today I kind of just wanted to take you guys along with me. I'm going to designate today to just getting some stuff done to get prepared for having this baby. Getting some of her clothes washed and folded and organized. Getting newborn diapers. Just like getting a little bit prepared because I've been so unprepared. Can you say hello? Hello. Hello. What's a video? It's a video. Are you excited for the baby to come? Uh, Are you going to play with her? No. What? I don't want to. You're not going to play with her? Yeah. Is she going to do crying? Crying. She's going to do crying. you got to be her big brother and play with her. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, Daddy. I'm not daddy, I'm mommy. What that noise? What that noise? <laughs> 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 oh! For breakfast today, James has a hash brown from Trader Joe's, a little sausage pocket, you need to open it, yeah. and some fruit. You also want some eggs, James? You do? It's hot. It's not too hot. This whole pregnancy, I've been having like phases of food fixation. So my current breakfast food fixation is very simple and very delicious. An English muffin with half of a piece of sliced sharp cheddar, a piece of ham, and a fried egg on top like a breakfast sandwich but it's super quick and easy and delicious the whole thing. you ate the whole thing my mom just came over and picked up James her and my dad are gonna take him to the park while I get some work done this morning Marcus is out in his office having a work phone call. I have the whole house to myself right now, which is very rare and so nice. So I'm going to have my coffee, have my little quiet time. go to the gym. I'm just going to do a quick little workout on the treadmill. We just had a little post-gym date and mm. we went and got some lunch. How are you? I'm great. Remember when we used to do this all the time? I know. It used to just be me and you in every video. How are you feeling about baby coming soon? I feel great. I think it's one of those things where like because you did the first one you're like ah the second one like we'll just do it when it happens and you're a lot less worried. But it is going to be, like, I am, like, you're always worried when you go to the hospital. It's like, oh, shoot, there's a baby. Like, I want to make sure that everything is, everything is good, you know? I just wanted to say, love you. Love you. It's still Marcus and Kristen. Mm -hmm. We're just a little bit more. It's Marcus and Kristen and. Yeah. So. But, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's it all started, is. you know, with, like, dating and doing cute challenges and things. And now we're. You know, I'm 30 and I have a kid and a mortgage and, a and things, two. you know, um, and life is like, life is different, but it's, but it's better, but we're still the same, you mm -hmm. know, it's just, you see less of the, of the teenage, who am I? 
you know, and it's just, I know what I'm doing, so I don't need to put it on camera as much, you know? Do you feel like this time the mental load is less, so you're kind of just like, it's just this passive thing that happens, and I still get to do my life? Like, I think the yeah. first baby, you're like, this it's is my life, and you're doing on. research, and you're like, I want to eat fish every day, or whatever, or not eat fish, whatever it is, you know, like, yeah. I don't even remember the rules. But then the second one, you're just like, you know what, this one came out, I'm sure the next one's gonna too. Exactly. It's coming out one way or another, you know, so... And yeah. your your brain is preoccupied on the baby you already have, so you right. can't spend all your time focusing. Yeah. Anyways. And you know what? Number two can turn out just as good as number one, if not better. And can I say? <laughs> can't be better. I'm a number two, so that's how I know. You are. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm number two too. That's right. But I think that they were done after me. Look at these two babies. Honey is back from the groomers. And Dolly is a little bit jealous that she didn't get pampered today. Camper is outside with Marcus, but he also got groomed. And I got ready after we got home from the gym. I'm feeling a lot more put together. <laughs> it's time for us to open a few packages from ThreadUp. I ordered the cutest stuff and I cannot wait to try it on. Thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are not familiar with what ThreadUp is, it's basically a huge online thrift store but they sell so many incredible brands and it's so easy to navigate. If you wanna shop Lululemon, just type it in, select what sizes you wear, and they filter it all for you and it just makes it so simple to shop. ThreadUp also has a new really exciting feature where you can share your personal favorite items. So I'm gonna share mine and you guys can shop my favorites. If you're looking for anything similar to what I'm gonna show you or you just need some inspiration, I will have all of that linked down below. Let's open our boxes and see what we got and I'm gonna try on some of the items for you guys. Okay we have our first dress this is from Rahi and I got this for $15. So here you can see the full dress. I feel like in literally a week I'm not gonna be able to wear this anymore but it'll also be so cute when I don't have a baby in my belly. The next thing is this cute little tunic that is originally from Topshop. I got this for less than six dollars and it's just nice and flowy a perfect maternity top to be honest i just paired it with some leggings next up we have the perfect winter maternity outfit in my opinion a turtleneck with some overalls you really can't go wrong the turtleneck is originally from a brand called fable and it is so soft and then these really cute overalls are from a brand called we were what and I got these for $38.99. I also got this cutie little dress. I got this for $12. It is like the perfect pregnancy dress because it is so roomy and it is such high quality. I love this. This might, this might be my favorite find of the day. I'm gonna have a link down below where you guys can click to shop my favorites and check out ThreadUp. You can also use my code Kristen and that's gonna get you an extra 40% off of your order at ThreadUp. The way the sun goes down at four o'clock really hurts me and it really affects my love of natural light when I'm filming, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna push through. It might be just not perfect lighting while I organize these baby things. We are here in the nursery. Here it is. It's actually a perfect little nursery because it's connected to our bedroom. And James does not sleep in here. <laughs> he sleeps with us. Um, but our plan is to put a little twin bed in here so James can sleep in here once the baby comes. And the baby will sleep in a bassinet in our room. And then hopefully when she's about six months, we will be in our forever home. So then we can transition them into their own rooms or whatever we wanna do. So here's what this room is currently looking like. I actually just picked up this dresser that I was telling you guys about from Facebook Marketplace, but I did order some new knobs for it just to make it feel a little bit more girly and special. But there are definitely some things to this room that I wanna switch up before she comes and I have a whole list of things. But today, I think my number one priority is just gonna be going through the newborn things that I have for her and organizing everything in this dresser right here. Cause most of this stuff is just like shoved into this old dresser and I can't find anything and it's really unorganized. So I think this is gonna make me feel better. <laughs> okay, first thing we're gonna do. I can't, guys, this is like the first thing I've done to prepare. I'm not even joking. 
and um, I'm glad I'm filming it so I can remember the memories. I have not seen a newborn diaper in so long. I think I'm about to be shook. So tiny and so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put all of her diapers in here. Nice and organized. The fact that I am going to be a mother of two in a matter of weeks has not hit me. Let me just say that. It has not hit me, but it's kind of hitting me right now, putting these little diapers in this drawer. We have diapers, so even if she comes tomorrow, you know, I'm gonna have my diapers organized, and that is great. Okay, I grabbed some of my little organize, organ organizing organizing bins and then i have this box of all newborn stuff so we're gonna go through and put some of this organized in here <gasps> we even have a little bottle okay great i should put all of our like bodily things together like pumping and all that kind of stuff we have more little bibs pacifiers. This is cool because it's like a set of all different types. Oh, very, very cute little pacifier clip. I forgot about this thing. This is the Owlet. Do they even still make these? Like, I don't even know if this will still work because I'm pretty sure these got like discontinued. I'm gonna have to do more research on that. So in here we have all the newborn diapers. And then in here I have the pacifiers, bottles, some bathing stuff, baby basics kit, and that's where we're at so far. My next mission is to kind of just separate out the clothes that I have for her by age because right now they're all jumbled together. I especially need to find the newborn things so I can get those all washed. But right now, I'm just going to sort through everything. Okay, I might do this sitting down. Time lapse time. Okay, here is the organized clothes so this pile is all newborn and this is zero to three months so i think these are the ones that i'm actually going to put in the drawers and then these are i think like three to six months six to nine months some of james's clothes for when he's a little bit older and then some for her for when she's a little bit older so like this part of it is going to just go back into storage i'm actually going to fold and put away these ones. Here is the newborn drawer complete. I still have to wash all of these, but it's nice to know that I definitely don't need any more newborn clothes. I feel like this is plenty. This is pajamas and then this is like cute outfits. We have some bows and some socks. Look at this. Have you ever seen anything so cute? And now I am going to put these ones in the next drawer. Okay, here are the zero to three month clothes. You never know how big or little they're gonna be or how fast they're gonna grow. So, I don't know. I feel good about this situation. I feel pretty good about the progress we made today. Obviously, I didn't get a ton done, but even just organizing the newborn supplies that I have and the clothes, that was like really daunting to me. So I'm happy to have that done. And now my next big task is kind of just gonna be reorganizing this whole room to make it what we need it to be. I need to like get some cute pictures up. I really wanna frame her ultrasound and get some pictures of James up in here, but I feel good. We're gonna make a very simple, quick dinner tonight. Let me show you everything you're gonna need. The Trader Joe's Euro slices, cucumbers, Feta cheese, tzatziki, red onion, tomatoes, and pita bread. We're making gyros, and it's so simple. It's like one of my favorite go-to meals when I don't want to put a ton of effort into dinner. Oh, wait, don't like that. 
here's the final result. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good morning. It's the next day, and last night when I was putting James down to go to sleep, I also fell asleep, and that has been a common theme throughout my whole pregnancy. I fell asleep last night at like 9, and so I forgot to end out this video. I wanted to kind of show you what my quiet time has been looking like because it has just been so good. So first up, we have this. Um, this is a devotion that I did two years ago, and um, me and John on the podcast thought it would be really nice and cozy to do it on our Patreon with lots of our podcast listeners. So we've been going through and doing 40 Days to a Joy-Filled Life. Um, and then we're doing like chat sessions and talking about it with everybody on, over on our Patreon um, for That's the Point podcast. And that has been so good. It's just so fun to kind of like do a devotion as like a big group. It's just been the best. So we are currently, I think we're on day 12 today. And then I am still chugging along, chugging along, tracking along um, on my year Bible plan. This is so nice because it doesn't have like a date guide. So you don't feel like constrained to read this on January 1st and blah, blah, blah. But it just has a guide of like what chapters to read every day. And then it also has a little section where you can write down your thoughts. So sometimes I'll write my thoughts or I'll write a verse that stands out to me. Um, but it's crazy. I'm halfway through the Bible and I would definitely recommend if it feels overwhelming to you to read the Bible start to finish because it felt very overwhelming to me. But I do think I'm going to wrap up this vlog here so that I can edit it today and hopefully post it tomorrow. Um, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you and I will see you very soon.